Radgar versus Gerash. Yeah, with Freeze Mage, just getting extra draw in a slower meta is really good. We got some, um, like, with the defensive cards also being gone, it's so important to curve out a bit better as a Freeze Mage now. Um, and I still, oh, we immediately get the war uh, warrior. And I still think um, that sh I, I'm pretty sure that we are can cut one barrier. It's like a an, an deck list that is really uh, weak now with not much, not much like defensive cards. So that's the scary thing. Uh, but the meta is a bit slower, and we got nerfed on Mad Scientist. The the healbot is nerfed. So yeah, uh, I think we still have a reasonable matchup against Warrior. Shield Maiden is gone. Um, might might have some influences. We're gonna start fast against Warrior. Want to have the double loot order on board. Maybe we can sneak in some damage. Yeah, we are adding just extra draw. We got a more consistent early game, challenging the board more against the early game of other decks. And we can play this deck faster, what is super important. Just keep going with the minions. As you see, we are running. Like with the Mad Scientist being gone, um, Doomsayer, by the way, is super insane at the moment with uh, Silence being nerfed. I think we can play Curve here. I also don't really want to play a Novus Engineer into Armor Smith. We always have to play Secrets now for 3 mana, and that is why I don't like the barrier too much anymore. Why are you not playing Antonides? I think. Antonidas, um, with like you want to play Antonidas in a more defensive uh, freeze mage list, and with Healbot being gone, with the Metsidas being gone, I feel it's really hard to make Antonidas list work. Keep playing curve here. Like the Emperor is gonna be good soon. Let's first deal with the Grill to not get not get the armor out of control. <laughs> Oh, Grotesque Master, interesting. Uh, we can consider Torch here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, we don't even want to draw. I guess we just Torch, Pink Face. And then we have the... I think we can go Emperor here. We are just with 10 cards. I can consider playing double 3-drop. But two of my 3-drops are draw, so I don't think I can get away with that. Welcome to the grand okay, and now we have a problem, and that's and this is a big problem, a big big problem, guys. Yeah, he has a really good starting end with the anti-aggro or with the weapons, and now having this just a current curve. Yeah, control warrior, of course, the worst matchup you can get. So we're gonna have a hard game. Oh man, hurts. Oh wow, place curve so per perfectly here. I need Doomsayer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. Shit. I think we can maybe win if he doesn't have the removal for Alex. So that's the game plan I'm gonna take. Yoloing the Alex. Ah, he's gonna overdraw me, but I need to draw, man. Feels bad. Yeah, the pressure is away from board, so that's not the problem now. It's a bit rough to use a Frostbolt here. I need a Doomsayer into a good Alex, that's the way I win. Draw last, we had 10 cards, so I had to play in card before drawing. Okay, he's overdrawing us for one, but yeah, that's okay. A lot of overdraws don't hurt us, so... Okay, there's Doomsayer, nice. <laughs> Nice armor. My hand is full. That's an okay discard. Ah, that's painful. It's extra burst. Um. Well met. Hi, Fidge. Please play some Freeze Mage. I learned a lot from your games. Would love to see how you'd play it in standard. Also, I love you and your stream. No Kappa Pride. No Kappa Pride. There must be a way. The end is coming! <laughs> Yeah, we have to put a lot of faith in Doomsayer here. Cannot get away by that. Well, I hope you're happy now. But we are playing some Freeze Mage. Uses Execute. Okay. Another removal gone. That 
belong to Yeah, the way we win is him using the removals. So I hope you are a bit happy now because uh, Flat Regilla, we are playing some freeze mage. Thanks for the donation. Hopefully I can, you can learn some or hopefully the game plan I'm doing here with the freeze mage helps you a bit. I think it's still reasonable to play freeze mage. I think it's viable. It's a bit hard maybe, but uh, it's time to go. If he has a removal here, we can concede. But he played already. I, I, like, I tried to get like removal out of his hand with the uh, uh, minions I played already. He played already uh, one execute, one shield slam. Yeah, then it's over. If you have all the removal, then. But yeah, of course, guys. There is one. The first control control warrior we play, of course. When we go into freeze match, not the matchup you want. Let's not get him again. Let's wait a sec. I don't think there is much control warrior anime anymore, but yeah. We just got that one guy on ladder playing it. Thoughts on Yok and Freeze Match? It's horrible. I mean, you kill yourself more often than... Like, yeah, it's fun and you can do it, but competitive-wise, it's bad. Fun-wise, it might be super good. I was thinking of the Cabalist Tom, but I think that card it can only be too slow. I think you keep all the cadre possible, um, especially against Priest. Job done. Is someone injured? Yeah, we just get or go with our own game plan here. I think. I mean, he has a super nice trade, heals, draws a card, but we are also drawing a card. And we are drawing three smash cards, he's drawing three cards. So I guess that's our advantage. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, he's not going for that draw. Or he is. Okay, one card that is removed from the priest is Felon. So Echo Light actually is way less risky. Okay, it's a Katoon deck. Um. The uh, one reason why I think Freeze Mage is pretty good for ladder is because of Katoon. Because Katoon decks are uh, giving are giving us so much time. Um that I think Freeze Mage is insanely favored against Katoon. It's also insanely favored against the Nazad decks. Because they are so slow and giving Freeze Mage they're also not running a lot of heal. There's no low tap anymore. Um we are getting a lot of time as Freeze Mage players. Yeah, let's play curve. I don't like the Novus Engineer spending only two mana here. Considering there is no Mad Scientist anymore, you f you play your secrets way more often early in the game. Mm. It's an early Doomsayer. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, we got we want to play maybe around and Tomb, right? But uh, there are reasons to do it this turn. I don't like it actually. Feels a lot to do. Yeah, let's not do that, man. It feels bad, man. Let's remove the draw. Maybe I will just play Acolyte, even considering he can draw. I don't like this. I think this is the way you lose if you go Emperor here. We're gonna need Emperor when we have a lot of burst together. So we can like OTK him in some way. I think uh, playing Emperor is really bad play. We just give him a draw. A, a draw. I think we are fine with that. I'm playing it super slow. But that's because we are facing Priest. Do you know the secret handshake? Okay, that card is a bit scary. But not at the moment. <laughs> Time to freeze, right? Oh, that's a good draw. That makes the Doomsayer better. Because we play more on curve. Because I would like to drop Emperor, but Emperor is at the moment super bad. 
Also, we have like Ify and Tom, still have a minion on board. You get a decent trade then with Flame Strike. Yeah, there's some Tom's. Oh, Shadow Red Pain? Wow. Our priest playing with Shadow Red Pain now. Ah, we have a really good uh, Flame Strike. I think it's pretty good now, playing with the more greedy decks, playing with one Flame Strike. I think I still want to be really greedy with my Emperor. I need to draw Alex first. I need to draw like Frostbolts, Icelands, maybe Telmos, more Burn, and then it's gonna be better. So his Katoon is. It, it was 11 11 or 12 12. 12 12 now. Yeah, that card is good. I'm gonna lie. Oh, good draw, but I want to remove it here with eight damage. Uh, if he gets that in, then uh, Katoon is lethal. I wanna, I wanna try to stay on life where Katoon himself is not lethal. That's a scary one. Oh man, it's gonna be a big Katoon, guys. Yeah, problem is I cannot really kill the brand. So he, we give him an insane cartoon if I don't kill Bran. I mean, I can kill Bran with Forgotten. If I do it, uh, let's make this attack. I have three mana. Then we ping, that means we have five mana. What's exactly Doomsayer and Nova? Yeah, we drew already quite some. We can just do this, I think. Doomsay got insanely buffed out of the expansion. Of course he can, like, I'm a bit scared of Entomp. There are still YOLO plays I can do. I can have the Blizzard to gain an extra turn and I have, I can also go aggressive Alex. Um, I don't know if you really wanna, ah, oh, he runs also Entomp, wow. Priests are playing with Shadow Red Pain and Entomp. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to not respect, um... Like, he just doesn't give me much options, actually, now. This is the last turn I can go Alex with maybe my Ice Block surviving, so I think I Alex him. It's really a YOLO play, and I don't have any point of lethal in hand. But by waiting now, I cannot get any more win condition. I can, like, Blizzard one turn. We can also do it next turn. Blizzard, Ice Block, yeah, we do it. We don't have to burst yet, but considering that we have, like, another Icelands, another Frostbolt... We played already double Forgotten Torch, so double Roaring Torch in the deck. Um, Fireball, Pyroblast, they all gonna give us lethal. Yeah, this is a painy. Oh my god, look at that one. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. At least he doesn't proc us this turn. Oh, discard, guys. So, we have 12. 15, 19. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Getting hopefully another turn. Priest does like he needs to have Katoon here, I think. Yeah, his Katoon is like 1 million, 1 million already. Holy shit. That doesn't proc us, look me. Haha, <laughs> this Katoon, guys. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is close. Yeah, that's a horrible draw. I needed to get Arcan Intellect here. Arcan Intellect would have been insane. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be really difficult this game. We need to pink face here, I think. Our hand is gonna be so cheap that we will be able to play everything. So, well, we are still in the game. Um, we got 6, 9, 17 bursts. He will be at 28 in over 2 turns. So. By drawing 10 damage, we're gonna win. So drawing uh, either on Pyroblast in the next two draws, or drawing a back-to-back -back draw with 9 damage from Frost, like a Frostbolt Roaring, uh, Intellect with something. Like, we have a lot of outs. The, uh, like, if he has a second one of this, I think we cannot win. But him not having that, um, we are, I think, even favored still. Because we have either we draw, uh, we are getting the draws on, or we getting, um, we are getting 
the burn. Like, horrible draws will be, um, like, barrier. I think the barrier is the only dead card here. We already have all the uh, um, minions being played, I think. 12, 15, 23, 24. So now the annoying thing goes where if I draw Telmos, but I also have to predict Pyroblast draw because Pyro is lethal otherwise. Hmm. I have to choose here which one I want to have lethal with. Observe and reflect. Like I can just play everything here and I put them at. Then, then, yeah, I shall do, because if I draw Arcane Intellect, I also want to have all my cards already being played, so I think I go all in here. Considering that Arcane Intellect and Pyroblast are two outs, even three outs, because I didn't have Arcane Intellect yet. So, but because with this play, an Arcane Intellect and Pyroblast are giving me the best outs. I get three extra outs, the only out I'm losing by going all in here is the Telnos. So we lose one out and three outs are better now. And I think that's then what you do. Also considering that we maybe still have more draws like a Novus Engineer. He goes to four. So Frostbolt Ping is already lethal. And I also have a Frostbolt. Yeah. I think all in is the good way to go here. Yeah, this priest is actually running a lot of heal and also a lot of stall. The only really dead card is Barrier here, so seven of the cards are still helpful. Even with Telnos, we can still ping our own Telnos. Well... I hope you like my invention. Double Arcane... Oh, I cannot believe this! Double Arcane Intellect, man. More and a lot of draws. Fireball. Frostball. Ah, uh. Never fucking lucky. Never freaking lucky, guys. But yeah, he ruined a lot of heal. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are we only getting the warriors, guys? Oh, man. Oh, drawing all the secrets against warrior. Not like this. Are there really a lot of warriors on ladder? Because the first 11 games uh, we played with Miracle, I didn't face any warrior. And now out of 3 games I get already 2. Is warrior popular on ladder? Hmm. Thais, I saw you live in Seoul. Glad you... Glad that I could see you there. Play was awesome. Well, thanks for that. Sharp shark. Oh, it's a control warrior even. Oh my god, guys. What is even going on at the moment on ladder? Where did these control warriors come from? Yeah, where is your despite now? Hi, no. my name is Thidge. I am from the Netherlands. That's me. I enjoy getting pounded in the face by Seath and Dex, but will really enjoy pounding you in the bedroom. Press 1 for more concede, mage. Press 2 to see some of my seduction techniques for Head X D Kappa 123. Wow, that was a 4 head XD Kappa 123. That's a lot together, my friend. That's a lot. Hey, give me that. Pushing damage for minions because I really don't want to. Like, I don't care too much about this armor, but I really want to get this armor all the time low. I also know the Katoon... Like, the, the most annoying Katoon decks are actually Warrior and Priest, because they have a card that restore or gets 10 armor or gets 10 uh, health back. So they are really annoying. But yeah, Skrusher, thanks, my friend. Happy you are still here in, in the stream. I remember you with all your troll donations. I think Katoon Druid is a good matchup, but Katoon, Warrior and Priest are rough. Like Katoon Druid doesn't really have like the mechanic to get lives back, so we have all the time against them. Here they still can recover well with just getting 10 or 20 armor or 20 health. Yeah, I have to be super careful with overdrawing. The attack phase. I want to get rid of his armor more. 
But I really need to start stop I need to stop drawing it for a moment. Double shield block Katoon Warrior, holy shit. Not making it easy for me. The letter. Ten cards. I need to arc an intellect here, right? Oh my god. Oh, if you're sure. Need to get rid of armor anyway, right? Yeah, I need to play my cards here. Considering we lost our um, Telnos already and we don't play Antonidas, you can go for this play. It's a bit annoying if you draw a second uh, Ice Lens, but with second Frostbolt, that's not a big problem. I mean, you have to get rid of the armor anyway. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that's just a Yeti against us. Not more than just a Yeti. Yeah, I guess 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to 10. What, the worst thing what can happen is we draw totally dead. Then we can just Nova, I guess. Gonna call this R okay. Mm. Need to play it. But maybe this loot harder can deal to uh can deal with two armor. That will be nice. Do you hear its call? Do you hear its call? <laughs> I think this deck is running shield slams, right? It will make a lot of sense. And otherwise, it's running executes. Well played. Observe and ref I bring life. If you play double shield block, you probably play double. You play shield slams. I wonder. I, I, I don't think there are too many warriors running just a car at the moment. If you play this Katoon. You play already like techs like Black Knight. You already play quite a lot of Katoon cards. You probably play Execute and Shields then, but probably not just a car. I mean, that's so insanely greedy, right? You cannot play Black Knight and just a car, for example. Okay. It's okay. Oh, that's a bit awkward for him. So we're gonna go Doomsayer here. Closely. I hope you like my invention. The end is coming. Yeah, everything matters. Should always ping here. Also, so I don't think he plays Shield Slam because he will have played Shield Slam last turn. On Alex, I don't think you would go Katoon there if you had Shield Slam. Oh, actually, has it? Wow, was it bad? Why didn't he do that last turn? Was Katoon better? I don't think it was, but maybe he thinks so. Was a mistake. Thirteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. So probably doesn't kill me yet. I don't think I really have to go for the remove play, so we can fireball phase 23. So I need to deal 25 damage. That's not gonna work in one turn. I can pyroblast phase here. I can emperor. With emperor, I am able to play. Yeah, then I think emperor is still okay here. Can we do fireball this phase? Then we are able to play pyro, frostbolt, Iceland in one turn. So we still have the uh, option to go pyro here, or to go fire. If he procs us, we go uh, ice block. I mean, there is there are a lot of ways that he doesn't proc me here yet. It's really hard for Katoon decks if they played Katoon already to proc me. We also don't want to let Emperor alive. I go for like a three turn lethal play by by this play. Yeah, he's just missing that armor card. That's so important for me. I have an axe to grind. Also, she'll play around armor smith. She'll really trade this one in here. 
So we have a burst of 30 and 17 damage. Oh, if you're sure. Observe and Hmm. I was thinking if I could play around just the car or armor up just the car armor up, but can't. The best way to wear on your land. Arm Smith. Yeah, he, I'm so mo so good that he is not missing, um, or that he doesn't draw that uh, 10 man 10 armor card. There we go, guys. The warrior is down. Bam. Feels good, man, winning against warriors. Feels freaking good, man.